Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatry Course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR Net December 2019 and we are here with this problem 13 of your paper. This, pro uh, this problem is a general aptitude problem so have a look. A, B, C, D are four consecutive points on the circle such that the code A, B, B, C and C, D is equal to 10 and D, A is equal to 20. What we have to do in this problem, we have to find out radius of a circle which has four consecutive points on it and the chord in between them has this uh, dimension, all right, 20 and 20. So what we have to do, we have to find out radius. Now in this case, we have only two possibilities. So first possibility is, all right, so see we have four points. So if you will join four point, then you will get a quadrilateral inside your circle. All right. So by joining these four points, we will get a quadrilateral inside the circle. So from this point, we will get two conditions. Either your center will lie inside of the circle or it will lie outside of the circle. Sorry, inside of the quadrilateral or it will lie outside of the quadrilateral. Are you getting my point or not? So we have only two possibilities for the center. Either it will lie inside or it will lie outside of the quadrilateral. All right, so let me draw them. So see, these are the only two possibility that your figure can have. Either center will lie inside the quadrilateral or center will lie somewhere here. All right, outside of this quadrilateral. Now let us try to think on this issue that if center lies inside of the quadrilateral then what will happen and if it lie outside then what will happen suppose this is your figure now you know that ab is 10 this is also 10 this is also 10 but this is 20 all right now see this thing that uh, you have this this mm, what what it is it is side so side ab all right let me write properly now see what I have done in this figure now, my O dash is not my center, all right? It's the intersection of the diagonal. In this figure, O is the center. So what I have done, I, uh, I just draw a line, right? That will connect your vertices A, B, C, D with O, all right? So these are the lines which will, which will, uh, which will be joining the vertices to the center, all right? Now see in the triangle A, O, D, all right, A, O, D and triangle B, O, C in these two triangles. See that you have two radius equal, uh, all right, uh, sorry, my mistake. I will not take B, O, C, uh, A, O, D. I will not take A, O, D. I will take, I will take the triangle D, O, C and B, what I am taking B, O, C and D, O, C, all right. So see in these two triangles, triangle AOB, this triangle AOB and triangle DOC. What is happening there is this, that this O is because it is, it is a center, therefore it has to be radius. So this thing is R, this is also R, this is also R, this is also R. All right. So in these two triangles, what is happening is this, that AB is same as DC and not and actually. Also, uh, AO is equal to OC and also DO is equal to OB. So by SSS, what is happening? We are getting triangle DOC congruent to triangle AOB. Are you getting my point or not? Because these three sides are equal. Now, because they are congruent, that means this angle has to be equal to this angle. All right. Now you know that if these two angles are equal, these line cannot be like this. They have to be vertically opposite angle. Are you getting my point? Suppose you have this figure. All right. So if these two angles are equal, then this cannot be your case. Your case should be like this. Are you getting my point? So that means the line AOC line C AOC is straight. It's not bent actually. And also the line 
बी ओ सी सॉरी बी ओ डी इज स्ट्रेट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस वॉट वी हैव प्रूव वाई दीज आर टू स्ट्रेट लाइन बिकॉज योर एंगल वॉट एंगल इज दिस ए ओ बी बिकॉज एंगल ए ओ बी इज सेम एज एंगल डी ओ सी और राइट बिकॉज ऑफ वर्टिकली अपोजिट थिंग Now, because they are equal, therefore we can say that these lines are straight lines. Now, because these lines are straight lines, this means that your center will lie on where your center. This will imply O dash is same as O. Your center will lie on O. Now, if your center will lie on O, then what's the problem you are getting? The problem is very simple. That you are getting is this that. C O dash is O. That means let me raise everything now. Now see, if O dash is equal to O, then your figure will look like this. Exactly. All right. That means diagonals are actually the diameter for this one. Now, if diagonals are the diameter, then we can easily prove prove this thing easily that triangle A O B is congruent to triangle uh, B O C. It is very easy to prove now. now because these two triangles why they are congruent because this side is equal to this this is radius and this is the common side in between them that is why all right easy to prove so it's you can take this as an exercise that why they are congruent it's very easy now because they are congruent therefore we can say that this angle has to be equal to this now we know that some of these two angles are act, uh, are equal to 180 degree because you have a straight line so some of these Angle is equal to 180 means what? Because they are equal, we can say that this has to be 90 degree. Now, because this is 90 degree, and we know that BOC is also congruent to triangle BOC is congruent to triangle DOC. All right. Because of that, this has to be 90 also, and also from the vertically opposite thing, you can say. Now, because you are getting 90 90 90 on everywhere so we know this theorem if diagonals of quadrilateral quadrilateral inter uh, intersect at 90 then it is rhombus we know this all right from our Eighth, ninth class level, we know that if diagonals of a quadrilateral intersect at ninety degree, then it is rhombus. So, do you see this figure as rhombus? No, it is not. Why? Because all sides are not equal. That means whatever we are doing so far was incorrect. Your center cannot lie inside the quadrilateral. So, this is what we are doing from the very beginning that your center cannot lie here. So, this case is impossible to happen. So, this is your case. now let us all right your question begins from here all right the first thing is all this what i have done is is should be in your intuition that why your center cannot lie inside all right this should not take more than 1 minute if you are if you have done enough questions about uh, all of these angles and triangles and quadrilaterals all right now let us try to prove this one so see this is now your correct figure so let us try to find out radius from this figure now because this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 all right and you have this as your radius r r r r that means this triangle that you have over here is congruent to this triangle from sss property so this angle and this angle has to be equal also the triangle which is in between them is congruent to this one why because this side is equal to this this side is equal to this so the three triangles that we are looking are actually congruent to each other we don't need to prove this thing all right so everything is uh, th this angle is equal to this and this angle is equal to this so if i consider this angle as theta then theta is this also theta is this and also theta is this now what i will use i will use cosine rule in order to find out my theta we know that cos theta let us apply cosine rule on this triangle all right i hope it is clear that why every angle will be theta all right because of congruency between these three triangles so now let us apply uh, cosine rule on the triangle o d c so if i apply 
cos cosine rule on it so this thing will be equal to what it will be equal to r square plus r square minus 10 square by 2 <coughs> 2 times of r dot r all right so this is cosine rule on triangle odc all right so this is cosine rule i hope you already know cosine rule i'm not introducing this in this video because it will be very long you can see this cosine rule anywhere on the internet or any in any books all right so from here what we are getting cos theta is 2r square minus 10 square by uh, it is 2r square all right now let us apply cosine rule on the triangle on the triangle AOD so if you will apply your cosine rule on the triangle AOD then you will get AOD so this theta is actually 3 theta all right this complete one in this triangle AOD so cos of 3 theta will be given by what it will be given by uh, r square plus r square minus 20 square by 2 r square all right what do you know about cos 3 theta you know the identity of cos 3 theta that it will be equal to now see what i did i just multiplied this on the left hand side so we are getting 2 r square uh, and i am taking 2 r square common out of it so we will get this equation all right from this one we will get this equation so keep this equation in mind let us say this is one this is two so from one and two we can evaluate values of two r square so what will be value of two r square it will be minus hundred by one minus cos theta and on the right hand side we are getting minus 400 by 1 minus cos 3 theta all right so from here what we are getting is this that 4 minus 4 cos theta is 1 minus cos 3 theta and we know using this identity we know that uh, it will be 1 minus 4 cos cube theta plus 3 cos theta which is equal to 4 minus 4 cos theta so from here what we will get 4 cos cube theta minus 7 cos theta and we are getting 5 over here not 5 actually we are getting 3 plus 3 so this is what we are getting now see this is a cubic equation and if you will solve this cubic equation you will get what you will get values of cos theta so see if you put cos theta is equal to 1 then you this equation will be satisfied why because you will get 4 plus 3 7 7 minus 7 is 0 so from here we, we are getting only two possibilities that either cos theta is equal to uh, 1 or cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 are you getting my point so what figure do we have earlier we have this kind of figure all right uh, I think this kind of figure that we have and our center was here now what was theta actually theta was the angle this angle so this angle was my theta all right so this theta cannot be zero because you are you are taking this angle from the center it cannot be zero so it has to be one by two it cannot okay so from this statement what you can say that theta is zero so do you think in this case theta can be zero no theta cannot be zero so it is not possible so it ha this has to be the possible case so if cos theta is one by two this imply that theta is 60 degree it means pi by 3 now what will be 3 theta then this will imply 3 theta will be pi so this angle we are saying it is pi it means that this line that we have is not like this it's a straight line so it's straight lines means this thing will lie entirely on this ad are you getting my point so your center will lie over here so this imply o lies on lies on ad and because o lies on ad that means radius should be what it should be 10 are you getting my point or not because now 
your o is on ad and because a o is on ad so it has to be the diameter so the half of the diameter will be the radius so that is why your option one is correct this question is little bit difficult to solve in exam if you don't have uh, enough practice of these things then it's a little bit impossible to solve in exam but if you have practice then you can easily prove these options all right so this is how we can solve if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section and also if you have any other different doubts or problem what you can do you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description all right so thank you